everybody, welcome back to Let's Talk and you are with me, Mira. Well, today we're going to talk about habits and the expressions, the different types of expressions that we can use when it comes to different habits. Well, to be frank, uh, it's a bad news, but all of us have habits. Some of them are good and of course some of them are bad. But today we need to know what are the different types of expressions that we can use as far as habits are concerned. Okay, let's quickly jump into the first expression, force of habit. As you can see, it sounds like something is forced upon. It's a force of habit. Now, when we talk about that, we're actually talking about something that we do unknowingly. You know, that is a little automatic when it comes to our nature. Okay, so force of habit means without knowing. Now, let me give you an example. So, uh, when I'm talking to someone, this was long back, uh, probably five, six years before, I used to talk like this. You know, like what I'm saying is that we, we had to go like so far that we were like so irritated by that. And what are you going to say when you hear me say that? You're going to say, Mira ma'am, you're saying like too many times. And I would be like, are you sure? Have I said it so many times already? Well, what can I say? It was a force of habit. I used to say like without even knowing that I'm saying it. And I'm sure so many of you out there can relate to what I'm saying, right? Now, for example, you can also say that I end up looking at every mirror or reflection that I pass by because of force of habit. You do not even realize that you end up looking in the mirror every time you pass one. It happens to most girls. You agree with me? I'm sure you do. Well, that's force of habit. Doing something without even knowing or it's an automatic reaction from your side. Moving on to creature of habit. Well, this is a little bit different from force of habit. Creature of habit is someone, uh, you know, who has been following or doing the same thing for a number of years or for a period of days. Okay, so creature of habit means someone who does the same thing, who does the same thing and it's sort of a pattern, okay? That's how you can remember it. Now, for example, I'm a creature of habit. I have to have two boiled eggs for breakfast. Or my habit, so I can use this by saying this, I'm a creature of habit. I have to drink a warm glass of water the moment I wake up and before going to sleep. It is something that I have been doing for so many years that I cannot stop. And isn't that what habit is all about? Something that you just can't stop. It's not in your control. It has become a part of you. Well, having, say, having said a part of you, that brings me to the third one. And second nature is actually the same thing. It's a tendency. It has become your characteristic. You know, it has become so instinctive that... That is how people look at you as, okay? So second nature is sort of a characteristic. Okay, and it is instinctive in nature. Now, for example, you know what? It's my second nature. I end up saying yes to everything that is in front of me or anyone, if anyone asks me anything, it's become my second nature. Or for some people out there, they would say, well, I am the opposite of you. In my second, my second nature is to say no to everything, right? Well, that is a second nature. It's an instinctive thing. It's a characteristic. That's how people know you as. Now, moving on to break a habit. Now, break a habit means to end a particular habit. Now, from obviously, we're moving from not so bad things 
to bad habits when you can use the term break a habit. It means to end a habit. Well, you are sleeping really late at night every day. I think you should break this habit. That means you should stop sleeping so late at night and start sleeping early. Or you should really try and understand that you need to break your habit of smoking, right? That means put an end to a particular habit. Now, in a little bit of similar tone, we have the next one which is kick the habit. That means saying goodbye to the habit, okay? Kick the habit means good by to the habit. Well, this can be used in a different um, form. You can actually say, I just kicked the habit of smoking. Now I don't smoke anymore, right? You can use it for yourself. I kicked the habit of sleeping late at night. Now I sleep on time, right? So that is kick the habit for you guys. Moving on to this side of the board, which is get into the habit. Since we're talking about ending the bad habit, we also need to see that how can we inculcate good habits, good things to do, good patterns for ourselves in our lives. And that's when we use get into the habit, which means to begin doing something, okay? To begin doing something. Now, I am I am going to get into the habit of doing yoga every day. I am going to get into the habit of working hard from now on. That means to begin doing something. It's a good start of a good habit. Now, the next one is old habits die hard. I'm sure you must have heard this word. It means... It's really hard to stop doing something. Old habits die hard. You can use it when someone catches you doing something that has been your second nature or you've been a creature of habit. Now, for example, people who take newspapers in their washrooms and read newspapers while um, they're in the washrooms, well, they are the ones who would say, oh man, old habits die hard. It's hard not to take a newspaper in the washroom or in the toilet. Old habits die hard, which means hard to stop doing something. Or I would say, every time I look at my watch, I have a habit of looking at my watch after every five to 10 minutes. I don't know what it is, but I do this every time. So I would say, someone catches me, doing come on Mira you're again looking into your watch I would say what can I say old habits die hard it's very hard for me to stop looking at my watch moving on to the last one means a leopard cannot change its spots it means it's impossible not just hard it's impossible to change someone or someone's nature in particular a leopard cannot change its parts means impossible to change. He is so mean, but what can we do? A leopard cannot change its parts. That means that person is very mean and you cannot help it. He will not change or your boss is um, very arrogant to you, probably, you can say, what can we do? A leopard cannot change its spots, no matter how much you try. Well, guys, so there you go. These are your expressions that you can use, phrases that you can use when it comes to habits. You have your phrases to express what kind of habits you have right there certain bad habits that you can talk about, good habits that you're going to get into, and just phrases to express something is so impossible or hard to do.
All right, guys, with this, I'm going to end the lesson right here for today. I will see you soon with another topic in another video. Until then, like I always say, just keep smiling, keep practicing. This is me, Mira, saying goodbye.